down. I just learned a new technique. I'll use it to end your life. Unauthorized personnel should keep their distance. It's dangerous here. Actually, we're not really unauthorized, are we, Judge? Is that Sushong? And a judge? Why are the Ten Lords Commission here? It's a very long story, so let's deal with the problem at hand first. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, the Ten Lords Commission will handle this. Thank you for your cooperation. Understood. Please, take mercy on him. Don't worry, this sort of thing is our specialty. See how you like this! Calm your body and mind. The fight is set. Make good the loss. Relax. Perfect. Excuse me. Coming through. May as well kill them all. Judge Hua Hua, is he all right? His life isn't in danger, but his hands and feet are spasming, and his speech is incoherent. I think he's experiencing a delusion that he can't snap out of. I feel like I've been drained of my strength. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, are you okay? Can you answer a few questions for me? Do you remember what happened to you? I... I think so. Let me think for a moment. Oh. I received a report today about... an infestation of abominations here at the Alchemy Commission. The, the captain sent me to clear it out. What happened after that was... like a dream? I, I can't explain it. My weapon suddenly started... Talking to me? It, it taught me fighting techniques. Which moves to avoid, which moves to use, which stances to adopt to retain balance. Then it told me to relax and let it take control against the enemy. That sounds just like a Heliobus. I, I followed its instructions. To my surprise, it felt like my combat skills had greatly improved. <laughs> Still, it told me I was incompetent, like a piece of rotten wood. <sighs> it wanted to find a new apprentice to carry forward the art. It was only then that I realized there was a sword-wielding child beside me, staring right at me. Lots of children grow up learning to use a sword on the Lafu, but for a child to be walking around with one... I sure hope we're not thinking of the same person. I realized the boy was the general's retainer, Yin Xing. <sighs> I knew it. When I heard my sword say the name, <laughs> I was in disbelief. And then, for some reason, I just... Attacked Yin Xing. Are you all right? You should be asking the Cloud Knight. 
What happened next was even more outlandish. Jinxing looked like he was talking to the sword in his hand. He turned around and left without looking back. And my weapon? My weapon never spoke again. Not good. I'll take care of the Cloud Knight. You go after Yin Ching. that Yan Ching's sword is a famous weapon crafted by the Artisanship Commission. It resonates with its master, reacting to his movements in battle like it has a mind of its own. He must have encountered some kind of danger, and his sword flew away to find someone to help, right? Uh, danger? Mr. Shang, don't scare me like that! What kind of evil would be strong enough to pose a threat to Yan Ching? I'm not sure, but the Heliobi are strange creatures. Even the sharpest sword can't cut them. Uh-oh. I just had a thought. If it's not auspicious, you'd best not say it out loud. Based on what that Cloud Knight said, it isn't that Yen Ching's in danger. Exactly. Follow the sword. No matter what. We have to find Yen Ching before things get even worse. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Calm your body and mind. The blade's edge, the fight, is set. Make good the loss. Stand still. Commencing with... May as well kill them all. Stand down. Stand still. You impede me, make good. The loss! Dock for Dragon Prayer Terrace. Judging by the sword's behavior, 
That's where Yanqing is. Should we really be charging over there? Even without a Heliobus, Yanqing is a swordsmaster among swordsmasters. Are... are you scared, Sushong? Me too. Compared to the other Heliobi we've dealt with so far, this one seems like it could do some serious damage. Scared? <laughs> My mother taught me swordplay as soon as I could walk. I might not be as good as the General's Apprentice, but I would never let cowardice dishonor the name of the Cloud Knights or the Family Sword. But I am... worried. If the Heliobus possessing Yanqing is too strong, I'm afraid I might not be able to guarantee everyone's safety. The General has been supporting our ghost hunting squad from the very beginning. It's time to return the favor. Even if it wasn't for the General's sake, as a judge, I can't let a Heliobus take over someone as dangerous as Yan Qing. Su Shang, Miss Gui, Mr. Trailblazer, please help me rescue him. Yan Qing is at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Let's go. doing in Dragon Prayer Terrace. It must be a Heliobus illusion. Shouldn't we ring the harmonic chime and see if we can talk to Yenqing inside the illusion? Illusion? <laughs> Since each of you can see it, wouldn't that mean you'd fallen into the illusion as well? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. To me, this sword formation is a precious arsenal. When I gaze upon any one, a thousand sword fights dance before my eyes. The sword play far exceeding anything I have learned. And better yet, they welcome those who wish to pursue higher realms with open arms. I know that this is an illusion created by a Heliobus. The General sent me to assist the Ten Lords Commission. I know a thing or two about your work. These cosmic flames are not good, nor evil. They are simply a mirror. As long as a host's mind is clear, a Heliobus cannot control them. Take me, for example. At this moment, I am free of all distractions. And I see the potential for greatness in these swords. Isn't that right, Master Apyra? Apyra? That Heliobus's name is Apyra? Correct. Master Apyra promised to show me the flaws in my swordplay and how to take it to the next level. That's why I brought them to Dragon Prayer Terrace, where I suffered my most serious setback. Young one, with me, everything will be different. Whether it be Imbibit or Lune, the Stellaron Hunters or that woman, your accomplishments will exceed them. You will be matchless, without limits. Matchless without limits. You're just in time. The swords have taught me something already. I'd like to see how sharp my skills have become. My skills are lacking. I've been through countless defeats. But with the Pyra as my master, no longer.
Stand down. Stand still. Sword, heed me. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I will dispatch you by my sword. The fight is set. Commencing research. Unnecessary. Good times never last. Time to say bye. I won't go easy on them. Good, the loss. Relax. Target skills coming through. May as well. You can still walk away. Form your body in the A blade's at her. Stand still. My blade levels armies. <laughs> Their skills are nothing compared to mine. What can I learn from any of them? Then why not hack them down right here? them down? I thought we were just sparring. The laws of the battlefield are no different from the laws of the universe. Life for victory, and death for defeat. Swordsmanship is the art of victory, and only the victorious swords can be passed on. Swords defeated are buried among the barren wastelands. But... You're... resisting me? <sighs> Rid yourself of these needless notions of clemency. How can you move forward without casting these distractions aside? Raise your sword. <laughs> Life for victory and death for defeat, huh? All this talk of laws of the battlefield and the universe. You think that gives the appearance of a Grand Master? You're just using someone else's ambition to satisfy your own desire to shed blood. This Xuan Yuan sword in my hand has been passed down through my family for generations. When my mother gave it to me, she said, The bread may bake, but the hearth remains. And for a long time, I had no idea what she was talking about. Today, I just realized I misheard her. I think she actually said, the edge may break, but the heart remains. Probably. The Lieutenant Yinqing, the winner and loser of this battle, have yet to be determined. Don't give me that. There is no point in fighting any longer speech. <laughs> this little wench's fighting spirit is on fire. Young one. Since she insists on fighting, will you give her our answer? I... I won't back down! Mrs. Shang, you... This is between fellow Cloud Knights. Losing a fight isn't a big deal, but if I abandon my fellow soldiers and bring dishonor to the Knights, how could I wield my sword again? Granted, I might not last more than a few moves. You guys go get the general, quickly! I'll try and hold him off until he gets here. Su Xiong, my bestie. Why is she so stubborn? Still, that was pretty freaking cool. 
The spirit bearer told me that the general is still in Fictral Garden. Let's hurry! I think the only one that can break Yan Qing's illusion is Jing Yuan himself. Huh. Is something the matter? You seem out of breath. Hmm. A heliobus that creates illusions for the sole purpose of instructing someone in swordplay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind learning a few tricks from them myself. Unfortunately, it sounds like this one is a little too aggressive to be a decent sparring partner. This is not an adversary that someone as young as Yan Qing is equipped to deal with. General, we need to move fast! If we wait any longer, I'm afraid that Su Sheng might be... I can understand your sense of urgency. But before I leave, I have a question for Cirrus, who has been listening this whole time. I trust you are familiar with the Pyra. Naturally. Among the Heliobi, Pyra manifests the courage and warring spirit of Ignmar. They are the most aggressive of all the fragments. But who is this Swordmaster? Who is Yin Qing? My apprentice. <laughs> well, no wonder I smell a hint of sadness in you. In order to rescue his incompetent apprentice, the master must fight on the battlefield himself. I must say, I'm very envious of Apira. You'll know the flavor of sadness, but not its meaning. An apprentice obsessed with victory and defeat has lost his mind to a heliobus, and is now trying to shortcut his way to mastery of the sword. This is my failure to him as a master. And the source of grief you see in me now. <laughs> then you should hurry. Apira has an insatiable bloodlust. Once they've enslaved your mind, they can make you turn against your friends, your kin, even your own master. <laughs> Go! I don't wish to delay your death match with your apprentice. Come to laugh at me again, have you, little brat? I'm not in the mood for your chatter. Go away! Su Shang is awaiting our timely arrival at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Let's go. the moment you drew your sword. I didn't think... I didn't think I would last this long. I... I'm not half as bad as I thought. No one, you're hesitating again. You're always hesitating. Your opponent is no match for you. Yet they have managed to fend you off for this long. As a swordsman, have you not any pride? Do you want to repeat the disaster you suffered at Dragon Prayer Terrace? It's time to finish it. Only blood can cleanse the shame of the sword. He won't do it. General. Young one, your old teacher has arrived. 
Under his tutelage, you never experienced true failure. But after suffering your first major setback, your confidence in your swordsmanship has been... faltering. You worry that the General is disappointed in you. You worry that you don't have what it takes to be the person the General wants you to be. Now, show him what I have taught you. He'll be very proud of your progress. Tell him that with your sword, you will bring victory to the Sienjo. With... with my sword... Yan Ching would never draw his sword on me to prove himself. I have confidence in him. This confidence is not a belief that he will win every contest. It is a belief that he will one day break free from the paradigm of victory and defeat, and realize his true reason for wielding the sword. The pleasure of swordsmanship, the saving of life, and the dispatchment of enemies. This truth must be discovered by himself. No one can teach it to him. Now is the time for him to take that step. General, I... Break free from victory and defeat? Those are just empty words to comfort the dead and the defeated. Think of your crushing defeat at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Think of how you felt then, teetering on the brink of death. If the sword of that Stellaron Hunter had pierced your flesh, you wouldn't be standing here pondering the meaning of victory and defeat. Now is the time to break all your chains. Draw your sword on your master, to the general who is trying to imprison you. Draw your sword! General, allow me to demonstrate my swordsmanship. I hereby challenge you. Apira, I challenge these swords to battle! Young fool, how disappointing. Your accomplishments would have been limitless. But you've been led astray by empty idealism. None of that matters anymore. While teaching you, I studied your every move inside out. And now you wish to throw down the gauntlet. Very well. In your own image, and with your own techniques, I will teach you one final lesson. Your sword play, every stroke and sway, I've committed it all to memory. Now, allow me to demonstrate. With merciless intent, how powerful I am! No, Yang Ching. Conceal your form and hide your intentions. Don't fall for their distractions. Understood. Survive or be destroyed. 
There is no other choice. Yeah. The fight is set. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. <laughs> that breathing sensation. I won't go easy on you. I will dispatch you by my Stand still. Tark, excuse me. Coming through. Stand down. Relax. You're all in on it. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! <laughs> You're too good to me. Commencing research. Time for something sweet. Time to treat. Good times. Never last. Time to say bye. Hold your body in the night. You impede me. Fail to send you. Stand still. You can still walk away. <laughs> A blade's edge knows no mercy. Your end approaches. Make good the loss. Relax. Punish evil. It didn't hurt. That paradise may be unsavor it in my place. Stand down. Stand still. Hey, you're too good to me. This won't take long. Good times never last. Time to say bye. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I'm just warming up. <laughs> Leave the rest to me. I won't go easy on you. Perfect. Now's my chance. Excuse me. Coming through. Relax. Calm your body and mind. I failed. One hit. One stroke of luck. One victory. <laughs> Impressive. I am bested. Ew, it's about time we got this guy into the gourd. General. 
I know what you wish to say, Yunqing. We can move past the melodrama. <laughs> then, uh, to the rest of you, thank you for bringing me out of that daze. Especially you, Miss Sushang. Why does everyone that gets Helioblast love to apologize for it? You're the victim here. They're the ones stirring up chaos. It should be me thanking you for holding back during our battle. Or maybe, just maybe, it's due to a sudden skill improvement? Uh, don't you think? Haha, <laughs> right. Conscious Xuxiang is pretty badass. We're gonna need to get you a front page news story for this one. Heck, let's get some billboards! So, you've made it your daily mission to tease me, huh? With respect to this incident, what is your plan for posting on the Law Fu's ghostly grove? Since it concerns the seat of divine foresight, I am hoping you could. Well, about that. Let me discuss it with him first. Is everyone okay with this? Thanks for covering for me. I'm so embarrassed. All's well that ends well. We should hurry back and lock Apira in the evil binding matrix. They're a dangerous one. I'm afraid they might escape. Well then, Yen Ching and I will take our leave now. All right, let's get out of here. limits. If it weren't for Yanqing resisting that Heliobus, maybe I wouldn't have been able to hold on until you brought reinforcements. Come to think of it, we only needed one person to fetch reinforcements. Why didn't we get him to stay behind with you? And why didn't you ask? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I was caught up in the moment. I guess I never thought it through. Ugh. Sometimes I wonder whether your head screwed on right. We need to take you to the Alchemy Commission for a checkup. Maybe, but my actions kept everyone safe, and that's what matters. Miss Ho Ho needed someone to look out for her, and Little Quay is just a civilian. You shouldn't be putting yourself in risky situations. As for him, He's a distinguished guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. If anything were to happen to him, it could turn into a diplomatic crisis. After weighing things up in my head, it made the most sense for only me to stay put. If I still had my tail, I wouldn't be slowing everyone down. Sorry, Ho Ho. I, I didn't think it through. You were never a burden. It's not your fault, Miss Sushong. It's just... I've been wondering... Uh, how can someone average like me keep up with the affairs of the Ten Lords Commission without my tail? <sighs> Forget it. We should get some rest. There could be even bigger dangers waiting for us tomorrow.